Tragedy in West Valley City today. Three teens shot, two of them are dead. Tonight, we're learning the names of those victims. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Evans. And I'm Kelly Chapman. 15-year-old Paul Tahi and 14-year-old Tavani Lopati were killed in today's shooting. The third victim is in critical condition right now. The Granite School District identifying him in a statement tonight as Ephraim Asiata. Fox 13 News also confirming tonight Ephraim is the son of former University of Utah football star and former NFL player Matt Asiata. All three boys attended Hunter High School. The violence took place on a sidewalk at 4100 South and Mountain View Corridor right around 1040 this morning. West Valley City Police say a 14 year old male believed to be the shooter has been booked into juvenile detention and the gun believed to have been used in the shooting has been recovered. Three other teens have been questioned and released. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph has been on scene all day. Spencer has talked to several family members and he's witnessed the emotion there tonight. Spencer. Yeah, certainly incredibly emotional out here. The families are just devastated. Both of these families very closely intertwined as well. A lot of them know each other very, very well. Now, if you were with us on live at 530, you saw right where I'm standing, the police line lift and all of those family members traveled a few hundred feet behind me to the spot where this happened. Now, we did follow them down there and spoke with many of them who say tonight was so important to say goodbye their loved ones. This gathering, it really means a lot to me to show that our community can come together no matter what happens. You know, no matter the drama or the ups and downs, you know, we'll always come back together. Family, friends, and classmates gathered in the exact spot where two Hunter High School students, Paul Tuputai and Tiavani Lopati, were shot and killed, along with a third being seriously injured. Throughout the day, countless people watched on at the crime scene tape, waiting for the moment where they could visit the spot where this happened and pay their respects. My brother was just, he was just a good kid, you know, he would do anything for his family and I guess one of the best memories of him is whenever you needed him, he was always there. This is Seppi Lokotui. She was very close with Paul, so close she calls him brother. And along with his other sisters and family, they mourned his loss. I love you, man. Yes. We love you, Paul. Tiavani and Paul were close, playing football together at Hunter High School. And family tells us they always watched out for each other and for others. My little brother would always tell me about T. Lopati. And I knew that whatever they needed or whatever, whatever anybody else needed, they were always there no matter what. It, it was crazy when I found out I was in class. And... You know, I couldn't stop crying until the end of the day. Another family member told us he took inspiration often from the pair. Uh, I'm a, I remember all the words and everything that they did for me that kept me going. And it's going to keep me going. And when asked his favorite memory. My favorite memory, honestly, everything. Um, he was there for me when I needed him. So as the scars run deep for this tight-knit community, they say together they will continue to pull strength from each other. And for Paul's family, they had this message to their brother. I hope you come and visit me sometimes or I hope to see you again. I love you so much. I love you, brother. Those flowers you just saw are a part of a small memorial that's growing behind me a few hundred feet in the spot where this happened. Now, grief counselors have been made available to Hunter High School students as well as to the family through the police department. Of course, if we learn any new details as this is a developing story, we will share them with you. Live in West Valley City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.